Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a week and my workout routine. This is my most requested video at the moment, so I'm really excited to be filming it and sharing it with you guys, finally getting it out to you. But before I get into this video, I wanted to give a little disclaimer. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just sharing what works for me. I struggle with this, so I wanna remind you guys not to compare yourself to anyone or what someone else is doing. How much they're eating how much they're working out etc 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 god made you beautiful just the way you are so please do what works for you and remember that you are so much more than your body and your appearance and you should eat healthy and work out to be confident and take care of your body not because you hate it also one more thing i want to mention that i do not count my calories or macros i don't diet i love food i love to eat love to snack i wish i was one of those people that was plant-based and only ate whole unpackaged unprocessed foods 24 7 but i'm not i'm working towards that i mean maybe one day but i have a huge huge sweet tooth i love to snack so i try not to restrict or deprive myself of my favorite foods i also loosely stick to the 80 20 rule and do my best to eat intuitively and just listen to my body and honestly i've learned to love to eat healthy and work out often because i just feel so much better when i do so on Monday morning, I woke up to work out. As a little pre-workout snack, I had some of these Perfect Bar peanut butter protein bites. I don't like to work out on an empty stomach personally. I just feel really weak. So something like these little protein bites gives me some energy, but I won't feel too full. I also had my multivitamins that I eat every single day. These taste like candy and they're delicious. Um, for my workout, I followed along with the three videos that you're about to see on the screen. I would say I live a pretty active lifestyle. I try to work out five to six days a week for 30 minutes to an hour and normally just follow along with workouts on YouTube. I love Mad Fit, Sammy Clark, Whitney Simmons, Vicky Justice, the list goes on, but those are a few of my favorites. I also stretch for about 15 minutes every night before bed. I'm getting a little ahead of myself with the voice over here, but I made after my workout this delicious, Greek yogurt parfait. The too good yogurt that I'm scooping in the bowl is the best Greek yogurt I've ever had. So I did a layer of granola on the bottom, Greek yogurt, and then another layer of granola on top. And then I sliced a banana, put that all over the top of the parfait and drizzled on some honey. Mm, okay, another thing I try to do every morning is fill up a big glass of water. I never really do this, honestly. I'm always forgetting to, but I love to add lemons to my water and drink it with a straw. It makes it a little more exciting. So for lunch, we had to get out of the house because the appraiser was there doing the appraisal. So we went and got some Subway. I had a six foot sandwich or six foot, six inch sandwich on wheat bread with cucumber, lettuce, turkey and cheese. And then I also had a bite of my brother's cookie. Surprised to even let me have a bite. It was amazing. Around five o'clock, a little later in the day, I started to get hungry, but I wasn't ready for a full on meal. I wasn't ready for dinner yet. So I just decided to have a little snack. What helps me a ton with my snacking problem is keeping a bin of healthy snacks in the pantry. That way, whenever I just want something to munch on, I will go for that instead of the not so healthy options. For my snack, I had one That's It bar. I talk about these in my vlogs. They are incredible. They taste like a fruit roll up, but they're much better for you. And I also had a baby cucumber. You can see the look on my face, so good. Around 7.30, I was ready for dinner. My parents made salmon, but you guys know if you watched my <laughs> weekend vlog, I do not like seafood. So I made myself a little chicken Caesar salad, topped it off with some Parmesan cheese, and I put salsa on top of it. This is the best discovery I've ever made. I followed this girl on Instagram. Her name is Taylor Chamberlain. She put salsa on her salad and I was very skeptical. I had to try it and oh my gosh, it's so good. It's literally life-changing. If you like salads, please try this. And then of course my sweet tooth kicked in <laughs> later that night. So I had one of these chocolate chip cookie dough Yasso bars. I literally have to mark it with my name and put KD only or else my siblings will eat it. It was amazing, chef's kiss. So that was Monday, day one. I woke up pretty early at seven o'clock on Tuesday because I had cheer pictures and wanted to work out before. So I spread some peanut butter on a rice cake for my pre-workout snack. And of course had my Ollie vitamins that I eat every single day. For my workout, I just did a quick 40 minute workout with these two videos, it's really good, but then I ran out of time and was rushing out the door. So I just bring an apple with me and that was my breakfast, very subpar, but I was literally in such a rush. So I got home pretty hungry and I made myself the best chickpea pasta ever. If you guys have not tried Bonza pasta, you're missing out seriously. I just keep mine in this big glass container but it's so much better for you. They do a little comparison on the back of the box to average pasta, much better for you. And it has a ton of protein in it. So I had a nice 
big serving of that with some tomato basil sauce. I really love this one from Organics and it has pretty clean ingredients. So I heated that up on the stove, finished cooking my pasta and just enjoyed that because, oh my gosh, it was so, so good. I just love pasta. All right, dinner time. I wish I filmed the making of this. My friend came over and we made this incredible charcuterie board to celebrate her birthday. There she is, Kenna. Happy birthday, love you. And we ate that on the cliff by the beach, literally a dream. It was so stinking good. All right, on Wednesday morning, I woke up at 8.55 a.m. and I had a cheer Zoom call at nine o'clock. So I was rushing to get to that. And by the time I was done, it was like 10.30. So I ate my vitamins and made myself a big old bowl of oatmeal 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 as a brunch i use these oats from better oats these are my all-time favorite the maple and brown sugar is immaculate okay just trust me here they're amazing so i put two packets of that into a bowl and cooked it up in the microwave All right, when I took it out of the microwave, I added some protein. I mixed in this fermented pea protein. It's plant-based and it has 20 grams per scoop of protein, which is pretty amazing. So once that was all mixed in, I topped it off with some strawberries and some bananas and drizzled honey on top. Look at that glaze, yum. Later in the day when I was hungry because I had only eaten one meal, brunch, breakfast, slash lunch, I decided to make myself a big snack platter with these roasted gorgonzola crisp crackers from Trader Joe's in the middle. These are literally sent straight from God himself. They are amazing. So I put those in the middle and surrounded them with some apples, carrots, cucumbers, and delicious watermelon. And then when my mom got back from work, she made this chicken Alfredo with egg fettuccine pasta. This egg fettuccine pasta is from Trader Joe's because she did Trader Joe's run that day. And that's why I have all these Trader Joe's things. It was so good. And she put artichoke hearts in it. I don't know why my family has a really strange obsession with artichokes. You put them in front of us and we literally turn into vultures and eat them so quickly. So that was delicious. And then as a little treat at the end of the day, I ate one of these mini hold the cone ice cream cones. If you guys have not had these, you are for sure missing out. They're so cute and tiny. So I ate two of those and they were heavenly. On Wednesday night, I went to bed really late. So I slept in on Thursday till about 10 o'clock, but I was still motivated to get my workout in. So I filled up a big glass of water and added this emergency immunity packet. The flavor was super orange and it has a ton of vitamin C and other nutrients, vitamins. I don't really know the technical term for it. I just know it's really good for you. So I stirred that into my water. I feel like we can all use a little extra vitamins, especially vitamin C during this time. I also had my daily multivitamin. And before I worked out, I ate half of this granola bar i think this is was a cliff bar i do not remember but the workouts you see on the screen are the four workouts i did this day i really really like this workout combo and i did a little jump rope warm-up before as well once i was done with my workout i was pretty hungry so i decided to make myself a chicken and rice bowl with some veggies i heated up this jasmine rice from trader joe's my mom has been buying this rice from trader joe's for honestly as long as i can remember since i was literally a toddler i've had this rice so I put that in the bowl and then added some peas and corn. This is giving me some anxiety that, that there we go. Okay, the peas and corn are on their side. Anyway, I added some leftover chicken on top from the chicken Alfredo and I topped it off with soy sauce, which is a little random for this kind of a bowl, but basically it was like chicken teriyaki with soy sauce. Anyway, it was super delicious and everything tasted so good, especially, oh, I just knocked my hand. <laughs> it tasted so good, especially after that workout. Oh, and I also ate this incredible fresh nectarine with that. As you can see, I ate it all up. And then a little later on, I did the same thing as yesterday, made myself a snack platter with those gorgonzola crackers. I put celery, strawberries, carrots, and watermelon around my little throne of gorgonzola cracker, throne, ramekin of gorgonzola crackers in the middle. And it was so good. And Macy thought it was beautiful. My snack platter. Wow, she really went off. <laughs> For dinner on Thursday after I came back from the beach, I ate my mom's 
famous tater tot casserole. This is probably my favorite meal that she makes for dinner. It has tater tots, cheese, ground beef, peas, veggies. I also got my hands on the very last mini hold the cone as a little treat and I was still hungry. So I ate an apple and um, more gorgonzola crackers. I'm literally addicted. They are like I said, sent straight from heaven. Okay, Friday, the last day of me filming all of my meals. I was gonna extend this to Sunday, but I was like, you know what, you probably get a little bored. So I filled up another glass of water in the morning and added some lemon and a matching straw, which honestly just made me really happy inside. Of course, again, had my daily vitamins. And for breakfast, I made some scrambled eggs. Uh, honestly, I was a little shocked. I hadn't had eggs all week long until Friday because usually eggs are like my go-to breakfast, but I added a little bit of milk to make them fluffier. Stirred it all up, cooked those on the stove, and I added some fruit and I mashed up strawberries. I love jam, especially strawberry jam on my toast, but most jams are really processed and have a bunch of added sugar. So I just crush up those strawberries and spread that on my toast and it was just as good, if not better. And then, okay, we're gonna pause really fast with the video because I have some explaining to do. I was doing computer work all day long, editing videos upstairs. So food for some reason was not even on my mind. And I literally looked up. My parents weren't home, by the way. They met each other after work to go on a little date night. <laughs> um, so I looked up at the clock at like 5 p.m. And I literally realized that all I had eaten were my eggs in the morning. So Ali and I made these nachos, celebrate it being Friday night put some chicken on there and I also ate literally the entire bag of carrots for some reason I was just apparently on a carrot kick sorry to anyone else in my family who wanted the carrots because I literally left like three in the bag and then after that I did a workout and I literally got on like a workout high this is the first time this has ever happened to me we're gonna pause the video again because I have to talk about this don't know how to explain this I wanted to keep working out like I didn't want to stop working out I just wanted to keep going because I was on a workout high probably just the endorphins from my body but that's never happened to me and Allie is like a total workout junkie works out all the time does cheer multiple sports whatever and she was like, oh, did you get on like a workout high? And I was like, what's that? Apparently it's a thing. So I did these other two workouts. So I ended up working out for like an hour and five minutes, which is usually I don't work out that long. Anyway, that was what I eat in a week. Obviously no week is the same, but those are just some typical meals, things I'd eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you have not already. And if you want me to do more of these in the future, please let me know. Honestly, I had a fun time with the bird's eye view angles and just getting creative with ways I could film what I was eating, my food, my workouts, all of that. Also, if you guys want me to actually film me working out, let me know. I didn't do that just because it's awkward to like film yourself working out, but I promise I did all the workouts. Anyway, that was this week's video. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.